Hello boys and girls and welcome back to week number one in February. Man, the time is flying by. It is snowing outside right now, so I decided let's do some art and have some fun. And this week in art, we are going to be starting a unit all about origami. Now origami is one of my favorite things to do now, but when I was a kid, I found it super hard to do. And that's because I would go to the library and I would take the books out and I would open them up and the directions were so confusing, but by the time I got to the third step, I couldn't figure out what to do. And then I got super frustrated and then I never was able to make the project. So what I wanna do is teach you guys at, uh, in school and at home how to make a couple projects so that way you two can love origami the same way that I love it today. So let's first talk about what origami means. Origami is a Japanese word, and ori means folding, and gami means paper. So origami tends to be a traditional Japanese craft and based on their culture, but origami is now all over the world, and many cultures and countries and people do it as well. So the first thing I want to do is talk to you about the paper. So boys and girls, you can buy origami paper in... Uh, the craft store or online and it's used for making origami because it has a nice surface and sometimes origami paper is printed with one color on one side and then another color on the other because when you fold the paper you tend to see both sides but I don't happen to have origami paper here and I'm sure you may not have it at home and I don't have it in school and we're gonna use regular plain old paper now, the one thing I just want to tell you um, is you can use construction paper for origami, but the fiber that's in it is very brittle, meaning when it bends, it has a tendency to want to crack. So if you're going to do the origami, I would suggest that you try to find a paper that's smooth because it'll help you with making all the folds. So, for example, this is a piece of construction paper I have here. And if I fold it, um, it's okay. But if I keep nip manipulating it, moving it back and forth, after a while, I can see that the paper is going to split. So, before you get started, try to find some paper that... Uh, and you could do a little test, by the way, by just doing what I'm doing. And fold it back and forth a few times. And if it looks like the paper fiber is nice and strong then you can go ahead and use that paper for the project. Um, newspaper actually is a great paper for origami too. So if you have newspaper laying around, you can use newspaper or this um, copy paper. And plain white paper from the printer works really well too. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know ahead of time because if you start to fold and your paper gets brittle, it'll start to rip. All right, so that's number one, is check your paper first, okay? Number two is getting the paper ready to be folded. Okay, so boys and girls, the first thing you can do to make a square is look at your piece of paper, find the short side, measure it. Mine, I think I measured it already, and it happens to be, yes, eight and a half inches. So I'm gonna turn my paper this direction, and I'm gonna put a mark on the two long sides at eight and a half. Okay, just like that. Do you see where I measured eight and a half and eight and a half? And then I will connect the two dots. I love this ruler. I actually got it in the dollar store and it's great because it's shaped like an L. So I can use this as a straight edge and then measure with the other side. It's such a good tool. And now what I'm gonna do is just cut off. Do I have scissors? Yep. I'm gonna cut off that line. And when I'm done, I will have a square, okay? Because now all the sides measure eight and a half inches. Another way to do it, if you don't have a ruler floating around, I'm going to keep that off to the side, is, and I show you this in school all the time, 
but I'll show it to you again, is if you take a corner and you bring it down to the opposite flat side, so like this, and make it nice and straight and even, you will get a triangle. And then all you have to do, and I'm not gonna use a ruler because I wanna show you how you can do this, if you very carefully draw on that line that where it's folded, and you cut on that line, you will have a square. So two ways to do it. The first way is a measuring way, and the second way is using the paper itself, okay? So tip number two is get your paper all squared out, and that way you're ready to start. Right. So the first project that we're gonna try to do today is a beautiful little fish, okay? So step number one, and I'm gonna move you down so you can see, is you wanna take the paper and you wanna fold it across like this. Open it up. And you will have, and don't draw on yours, I'm gonna draw on mine so you can see. But you will have a line going down the middle. Now what I want you to do is we, we have to make a line going across. So take the top of the paper and fold it to the bottom. And when you open it up, you will have four squares. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is take corner number one, fold it into the middle. I already did it to get kind of started here. And then you're gonna take the bottom corner, fold it into the middle, and then you're gonna take this corner and fold it into the middle, and then you're gonna take the little BB corner on the end that's left and fold him into the middle. So when you are done, it'll look, it'll look like that. Easy, right? So now what we're gonna do is I want you to take two of the triangles on one side and open them up so it looks like that, okay? Now, do you see, and I'm going to draw on mine, and I have mine all folded here because I, I was practicing before I started filming so I can make sure I'm doing it right. But you'll see there's a line here and there's a line here because those are the lines that you created when you folded that in. Do you see those lines? And you're going to take the line here and you're gonna fold it so it lines up with the line in the middle. So sometimes seeing it is a little easier. Okay? And then you're gonna take the triangle here, just flip it back. Okay? So if I do that again, check it out. I take the line that's folded here, and I line it up into the middle, and then flip the triangle back. Okay, do you see the fish forming? And then take the little point on the end and fold it in half. And when I flip this around, I'll have a little fish. If you were a little lost, don't worry, I'm going to do it again. But what I want to do is just show you how to finish this off. So if you have a marker laying around, you can now add... some scales on this fish by just making little letter U's like that. And at the tip here, I'm looking at a picture off to the side, you can go ahead and you can make an eyeball. Now, I also have laying around in my workshop here some googly eyes and I think I'm gonna glue one on. So I'm gonna find the biggest eye I have. It's pretty cute. Take a little glue. You don't need a lot. And I'm gonna put that right over, oh, look at that. I drew that almost exactly the same size. That was good luck. There. 
So there's my little eyeball, and there's my fish. So, if you didn't get the fish created because you got mixed up, confused, or lost, don't worry. Let's try it again. All right, so the first thing is fold it in half, open it up, and fold it down to get four boxes. Okay. Then take the corners and fold them all into the middle. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Now, open up two triangles on the one side. And now I want to take the folded lines right here and bring them to the middle and flip the triangle back. Like that. Then take this here. Fold it into the middle, sort of like making a paper airplane. And then take the triangle and flip it back. And then take this and fold it over, like in half. It's pretty good. I think the fish is fun because if it's not perfect on the back, when you flip it over, you don't really see it. And now... Take your marker, and I have marks on mine because I was using this in the intro. So I'm going to work with my marks, and I think what I'll do is I'll use them to add maybe some lines on my fish on this guy. There. See how you can take a mistake and turn it into something cool? And I think I'll take another eyeball, put a little dot of glue, and stick it on. Just like that. So, definitely go back, watch it, put me in slow motion, pause me. This is not easy. Okay, some adults can't do origami. I know sometimes if I don't look at the directions, I have a hard time doing it too. But once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to make the fish as well. So give it a try. Definitely, if you're working at home, send me a picture in Seesaw, or you can email me at pricet at pearlriver.org. And I hope you have a great time with your first origami project of our February unit, and I will see you soon. Have a great day, boys and girls. Keep on creating.